Hey guys, I'm Richard Holder. Welcome to the channel. Real quick, make sure like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff so you get notified when I do all of this dyno testing. Here's a question for my big block Chevy guys. Factory cylinder heads, you know, factory peanut port heads, factory oval port heads, and factory rec port heads, you know, the ones they use on all the high performance applications. What happens if you run all of those heads on the same motor? How do they compare? And before you answer, know this, the factory oval port heads, the standard size oval port heads, the 049 heads were ported. Now what order do you put those heads in, in terms of power? I'm going to throw you one more curveball. What happens and how do these heads compare? What happens if I install a set of aftermarket heads? Do any of the factory heads make as much power as an aftermarket head? There's only one way to find out. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, let's jump right in and find out how all of the factory big block cylinder heads work. We've got some peanut ports. We've got some standard oval ports. We've got some standard rec ports. And then we'll take a look at a set of aftermarket heads. And unfortunately, the oval port heads that we ran were ported. So you can see how much better they are than a factory rec port head and how much they compare to the these factory peanut port heads. Lots of good stuff here. So we'll take a look at our test motor to start things off with. We've got a 468 inch big block which is a 60 over 454. It had a forged rotating assembly for this particular combination. We're going to be doing a bunch of stuff with it, but it had forged rods and forged pistons. It had dome pistons that were 21 or 22 cc's with valve relief so that we could run a good size camshaft in this. And speaking of camshaft, we ran a hydraulic roller camshaft from Comp Cams. It was an Extreme Energy 300 HR cam. It was a 560, 580 lift a 248, 254 degree duration split and 110 degree lobe separation angle. We ran these with big two and a quarter inch long tube headers. We had uh, Comp also supplied a set of um, roller rockers for this combination. We ran a Mylodon oiling system, which is important on the big block because they run into windage issues and oil control and that stuff. We topped this off with an Edelbrock Victor Jr. intake manifold and <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this Victor Jr. intake manifold was an oval port, so this was a 454O intake manifold, but it was designed for the bigger oval ports, not for the peanut port hits. We also ran a Holly 950 carburetor and an MSD distributor and run in this manner, and we adjusted, obviously, the timing and the air fuel with jetting, but run with the factory peanut port heads, the tiny little Gen 5 peanut port heads, and um, factory valves, it just had a valve job and stuff, no porting on this. Our factory peanut port heads produced 511 horsepower and 513 foot-pounds of torque. So now let's see how these compare, how do the peanut port heads flow, and how they compare to a set of factory rec port heads. So let's take a look at that, because we also ran this with a set of rec port heads. So you can see the rec port heads, not surprisingly, made a fairly good bit more power than the peanut port heads did. And they produced 541 horsepower. Peak torque for the rec port heads checked in at 513 foot pounds. You can also see that the peanut port heads actually made a little bit more power than the rec port heads did below 5,000 RPM. In fact, all the way up to 5,000. So if you're looking for a truck application, obviously the peanut port heads are a good combination, a good go-to combination, but you probably wouldn't combine this with a cam that's this big. So the factory uh, rec or rec port heads were the same size chamber as the peanut port heads. So they shared that. The, the valve sizes, we'll go ahead and put that up, but the valve size in the, in the factory rec port head, obviously quite a bit bigger than the peanut port head. And as you can see, they did make more power on the big end all the way out to 6,500 RPM, but not by a ton. I mean, we're looking at a difference of 511 or 12 horsepower versus 541 horsepower. So now let's take a look and see what happened when we added a set of ported factory 049 cast iron oval port big block heads. Okay, we've taken a look at our peanut port versus a, a factory peanut port versus a factory rec port head. And we saw the rec port head, not surprisingly, made more power, although not a ton. But we did also, during the cylinder head comparisons that I ran, I ran a bunch of cylinder heads on this combination. We also ran a set of 
uh, ported 041 heads from Bryce over Dr. J's. That's no longer a company, so don't try to get a hold of them. But he did uh, port up a set of oval port heads, and they, they obviously worked fairly well. And here's what happened when we ran the oval port heads. The oval port heads made more power than the factory rec port heads. That's really not surprising given the fact that I'm sure that they outflowed the rec port heads. And, you know, a ported set of oval port heads will support a lot of power. In fact, the peak power jumped all the way up to 576 horsepower. Also, the nice thing is peak torque was up quite a bit from the other two combinations, 538 foot-pounds. And the torque was better than the, the 049 head, ported 049 head, made more power and torque than the factory rec port head did everywhere that we tested it from 3400 or 3500 on out. It still was down, not by much, by three or four or five uh, foot-pounds compared to the peanut port head below 4,400 RPM. It was down compared to the peanut port head, but up basically everywhere from both combinations. So actually a ported set of oval port heads do very well. Now you can also argue, and I'm sure that the rec port head guys are going to jump in here and say, yeah, but what about ported rec port heads? You should have tested the set of ported rec port heads. I would assume that, and, and we don't know because we didn't test it, but I wonder if a set of 049 or equivalent oval port factory heads would be between a set of stock peanut port heads and a stock rec port head. Maybe it would be in between there. The ported oval port heads are obviously better, but maybe a ported set of rec port heads properly ported, even with this uh, obviously fairly mild combination. I know that I've seen these heads flow a good bit over 300 CFM, which will support over 600 horsepower, we know, but whether or not it makes that power on this kind of combination, that's up to speculation. So let me know in the comments, do you think a set of ported rec port heads would make even more than the ported oval port heads? But the final test for today is to take a look and see what a set of aftermarket aluminum heads would be on this. And we have a set. In fact, they were from Airflow Research. And oddly enough, not only were they oval port heads and not rec port heads, but they were very small oval port heads. They, these were the um, the 260 or 265 cc oval port heads, so small oval, oval ports. Uh, in between size, let's say between the factory 040, the ported 049 head and the factory peanut port head. So bigger than the peanut port head, but a little bit smaller than a factory oval port head. But the power was up dramatically. Now, in fairness to the other heads, the, uh, combustion chamber on the AFR heads was smaller. It was a hundred and, I want to say it was 110 cc's. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take a look and see at the chamber size difference. But I know that the AFR combination had a little bit more static compression, but it had a lot more flow and it's just a better power producing head compared to the factory stuff. Again, not surprising. It's a much more modern head. 622 horsepower. Peak torque was 569 foot pounds. Yeah, 569 foot pounds. And again, better in terms of horsepower and torque compared to any of the other heads, either the peanut port head, either the the factory rec port head, or the or the oval port, the Dr. J's oval port 049 head, the airflow research head was better than all of those. And again, honestly, that's not terribly surprising. So here's another question for you guys to comment on. Would ported uh, rec port heads, could they make could they equal the power of this aftermarket and obviously more expensive oval port AFR head. What do you guys think? Let's get to our conclusion. Okay, guys, what did we learn from this dyno testing adventure on our 468 big block Chevy with all of these different factory heads and then one set of aftermarket aluminum heads? Well, we learned the following thing. We ran four sets of heads. One of them, the factory iron peanut port head. Another set, an 049 ported by Dr. J factory oval port head. And then finally, the factory rec port iron heads used on all of the performance applications. And then compared all of those to each other, and then all of those ostensibly to the fact or the AFR265 head. And the AFR265 head, very good head. They obviously have bigger heads than that. They have 290s, 300s in the oval port. And then they have even bigger rec port heads. But for this application, a 468-inch motor with a decent-sized camshaft and the Extreme Energy 300 camshaft, that 265 
relatively small oval port head from Airflow Research did very well. It made more power than all of the factory heads. <coughs> Excuse me. Not surprising, really. I mean, it's a more modern head. It's aluminum. It flows much, much better. So it's not surprising that that aftermarket head makes more than all of the factory stuff, even the ported 049 head, which has a reputation of being a pretty stellar performer. But the interesting thing is how well that little peanut port head did. And I'm going to be doing a video later on, and we're going to do even more things with a ported peanut port head. But in this application, the peanut port head did very well, up to 5,000 RPM, despite the fact that I think it was probably saddled by <laughs> the wrong camshaft for its application a peanut port head is not something i would choose to run with that much duration on that kind of camshaft not that there's a specific camshaft for it but the peanut port head i think i would choose to run a milder camshaft for a different kind of application but ultimately what i wanted to see in this test is how did it compare in terms of absolute airflow and absolute power potential? How did it compare to its bigger brothers? How did it compare to the factory bigger oval port? How did it compare to the factory rec port? And in, in the case of the oval port head, how did it compare to a nicely ported set of 049 heads? Because we know those have a long-standing reputation of flowing very, very well and making lots of power. And in this case, that ported 049 head did even better than the factory rec port head, which begs the question once again in here, you guys get to make a comment. What do you think a set of factory rec port heads would do on this kind of application? Not on a 496 or a 502 or a 540, but on a smaller 454 base 468 with this kind of camshaft. Do we need a ported rec port head to make lots and lots of power? Obviously the smaller airflow research head flowed more and did very well, but how would a big port, fully ported rec port head fare on this combination? Arbitrary holder, make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.